Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today I'm going to show you how to make lactic acid bacteria, which you can use in Bokashi and your worm bins. So right here in front of you, you are seeing a time lapse of five days as I let the rice wash settle. I'm not going to show you how to wash rice. I figure you can figure out how to dump the water from washed rice into a container and let it sit. And here it is at the end of that period. I'm sorry for this not being in focus, but my, uh, my camera, I did not realize, was not in automatic. But I have a jug of milk here, which is a half gallon. I'm going to pour in another half gallon to make it a full gallon of milk here. And then I'm going to pour in some of the uh, rice wash that is settled, or the middle section, I should say, of the rice wash, not the, the bottom section, into this container here. And this milk, as far as, uh, I always try to make it room temperature when I'm doing this, so I did let the milk sit out a little bit. I don't know if it works when it's cold. I've only done this once so far. This is my second time doing it. And as you'll see at the end here, it was not 100% successful, it looked like, but I'm still not sure to, as I'm testing those results. So, but this is still the process that you would need to go through. So here you go, I've got my gallon of milk. I'm going to then take my container here, and as you're about to see, I'm going to pour off some of the mix. Now, I also want to point out, I do have a cloth top on that so it can breathe while it's doing its thing. So as you can see, I've got the cloth on there on top, and I've got that ring. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to pour a little bit of that out into a second container to try to remove that top section. So there's a little bit of like bacteria and stuff on the top. I don't want that to go into the milk. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to go ahead and put this down, grab another container, and I'm going to pour off that top section, which is going to flow into that container. And then I'm going to add the rest of it to the milk, or at least part of it. Because it's supposed to be a between 5 to 1 ratio of 5 parts milk to 1 part of this uh, rice wash mix to 10 to 1 is from what I've read. So, you know, I, I'm just going to dump in a bunch of this here. I don't really measure. I, I know some people do. I, it seems sort of ridiculous to me. I'm not pouring in the bottom section there. I left that in the container. And from there, I'm going to then put on a lid that is also going to allow this to breathe. So I have a piece of cloth. And I'm going to lay that on the container. And then I have a hole in the top of the container so that way this can breathe. Um, the breathing part of this is somewhat important. I've heard that if you kind of close it off fully, you can't actually build up pressure, which can be an issue. So you really want to make sure that you let it breathe. Now I'm pushing this back to get this ready for a second time lapse. That's the sediment left in the bottom of that container. And then this is some of the top that I poured off. I end up just dumping this out in my yard. Uh, I don't feel I need to keep it, but the bacteria is a good bacteria. So that's what I do. Now here's the time lapse from the settling of the curds, or the, the whey at the bottom and the curds going to the top. Now, this is where something seemed to change in mine. As you can see right here, I see the curds somewhat forming, but they're all sinking. Uh, I think this is due to the temperature in this area of my basement. I think it was a little bit too cold. It dropped down into around the 60 degree range, and I think this needs to be in the 70 to 80 degree range for it to work properly. But I do think that this is a lab mix that is within this container. All right, so it's been like 13 days here, and I don't know what's going on or why I don't, I don't have that many cheese curds on the top, um, but it does smell correct, but I don't know if this worked. I'm probably going to dump this out and restart, but I just wanted to let everyone know, like, I'm not sure what happened. I'm thinking it might have been temperature. I'm sorry about the camera trying to focus now, but I think it might be a temperature-related thing over here. We had a couple warm days, and then it dropped into the 50s, and this area of my basement is pretty cool. Um, you know, the, the floor gets cold and everything. It's sort of outside the house, and underneath the fireplace, so I think that's the problem, but it's really surprising that the, uh, the the cheese curds did not form on the top, and instead we have a whole lot of whey on the bottom. So I'm still going to try to empty this out and see how it looks, and we'll see what we get, but let's go over and bring it to a better area with a better camera, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here's our container right here. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. It smells okay. I mean, it's it smells like, you know, it's the same way it smelled the last time I made it. I'm going to go ahead and reach a glove in here. I'm going to take this out. I don't know why I did not get cheese curds. I'm thinking it's temperature. This feels cold to the touch. I think you need to have temperatures like in the 70s or 80s. And I bet it was in the 50s. And I bet that's why all the curds ran to the bottom. Um, I bet that they didn't. it didn't quite work right. But the material itself smells like Bokashi. So I'd hate to throw this out since I made so much of it. Because um, at the same time, I also the milk that I had was uh, just past its expiration, and I didn't think that would make a difference. All right, so I think that's pretty good for that. I have here, I'm going to go ahead and take this glove off, throw that in there as well. 
So I'm going to move this container out of the way. That was just to pick up some of the curds that are on top. Now there are definitely some stuff floating at the top here, but I'm going to go ahead and dump that into this container. I have a little top here that I'm using as a funnel. Sorry about my dog barking. But let me go ahead and move this camera up and off to the side just a little bit here so that we can see a little bit. I can get in here. I'm going to move this up if I can. There we go. All right, so I'm moving the camera up and drop it down. There we go. I think that's a little better there. So you can see a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. I'm not going to pour all of it, obviously. I'm going to pour what will fit in this container. And, you know, I know that some of these curds and stuff are going to get in there, but I, I'm not going to filter this. Now, that is one container right there. There's a lot of stuff in the bottom of this. By the way, if this is curious what this funnel is, it's just the top of another container. Let's see, will that fit right there without falling in? Yes, it will. Perfectly. So this does have a lot of, like, air in it. Um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm probably going to put a little bit of sugar in there and see if I can reactivate this a little bit, maybe some molasses, and uh, see if I can get this going. But uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not as a lab. Um, if not, I'm going to probably pour this in my backyard or my garden or something like that and just let it go to town there, and it'll work its way into the soil. So that's how I make lab. I think I might try this. on. I don't know if I get, this video is going to be posted or not. I am going to try making it again. I've got another container kind of back in the corner over there. Um, that you could probably see right, if I can figure out my right there, there's another container of rice wash. Um, this is a warmer part of my basement than the other section where I do my time lapse videos, so I think that might help. Uh, but overall, I mean, it passes the smell test, although it still it, it doesn't smell as, I, don't, I want to say it doesn't smell this quite the same, but it still is very similar to what it smelled to the last time I made lab, and it it looks okay. Um, actually, I probably will post this. Um, let me do, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to post this to one of the Bakashi channels, um, and let me know what you think. I was really hoping that this would turn out a little bit better, but um, you know, it looks like it's it maybe is just not quite as good as it was last time. Last time I had a ton of cheese curds on top and a very thin layer of Bakashi, and then way in the bottom. So this time it's and of course there's still some foam in the top, and I didn't filter it as much, but we'll see how this goes. Um, I, I'm not using this in my uh, Bakashi buckets really uh, as much. I haven't been doing Bakashi lately. I've been doing this more in uh, my worm bins where I've been adding this as a bacteria. So we'll see how this goes and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. I know that this might not be the best way to do it or I might not, I might have messed up this time, but I'm still going to post this, I think. I am going to post it and just see what everyone thinks. So thank you for watching and let me know.